Good evening, everyone. This is Gary Bennett at ExcelMe.com. Tonight, we're going to be talking about game engines. We're going to uh, take a little bit of a break uh, talking about uh, the different chapters in the book and iOS development and uh, objects and methods and all that. And tonight, we're going to talk about uh, game engines and writing applications, um, games for iOS devices, iPhone, iPad, and the touches. And tonight I have uh, with me uh, Mitch Fisher. Mitch uh, teaches our iOS game engine and game series courses. And uh, I want Mitch to talk a little bit about tonight. And Mitch, I'm going to share my screen with you here in just a second. I should have started that on here. Let's see here. change presenter and there you go so Mitch um, tell us a little bit about why we're waiting for the screen to come up uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the different game engines that are out there available for iOS devices and maybe just a quick summary of when um, you would use each one of the game engines um, that's available right now and then maybe also go over uh, an app that uh, use maybe a different game engine or physics engine out there um, in your courses and, and in case if you have any questions on on uh, on Mitch's course and attending it just uh, go to excelme.com and click on iOS um, game programming or just uh, select the schedule and um, scroll down here and you'll see his game engine course as well there so all right Mitch go ahead talk a little bit about uh, the game engines that are out there sure sure we well you know in the courses we have we uh, we have actually two game engines we go over <clears throat> extensively in class. One of them is uh, kind of a custom game engine for a game called Sir Lamalock's Quest. And uh, the interesting part about this game engine is it teaches you everything on how a game engine fundamentally works. It builds uh, game loops, shows you how that works, the timing works, everything is done uh, in OpenGL. There's a little UI kit stuff but mostly OpenGL, and it guides you through building everything using tile maps, um, using uh, putting textures on those tile maps, what a, what a uh, sprite sheet is, what a sprite is, and uh, gets everything to work on, on in the game. So it's really a very comprehensive, and that's a two-part class, actually, uh, for Sir Lavalax Quest. The second game engine we cover is Coco's 2D, which is a very popular open source, uh, very well supported game engine that's out uh, in the iOS uh, world today. But many, many games out there are written, <clears throat> believe it or not, with uh, Coco's 2D. It is a 2D game engine. These game engines we're talking about are all 2D game engines. Uh, Coco's 2D uh, also uses OpenGL. But it uh, has it has its own API and class library to hide a lot of the complexity of OpenGL. See, OpenGL is all C based, C language based, uh, and Open and uh, Coco's 2D is an Objective C wrapper on top of that. It makes things a lot simpler. You still have sprites. You still have the game loop. You have all of that. Um, so we, we're just started. I think we're going to be starting game uh, class number three on Coco's 2D. Uh, definitely a fantastic game engine. There's a lot like Feed Me Oil is the latest uh, game that's on the uh, App Store that was doing really well. And uh, it was actually written entirely in Coco's 2D. And Coco's 2D also comes with two uh, uh, physics engines, the Chipmunk physics engine and the Box 2D physics engine. And the course uh, covers the use of those, either one of them. Uh, it's your choice to pick. You need to pick one of them. You can't use them both necessarily. Uh, it's nice to have a choice, so that, that's that's very nice. So that's kind of sums up what we're doing with the, the this, uh, in the uh, game class. Uh, Mitch, I uh, want you. I have an example. I, I don't. Yeah, go ahead, Mitch. I was just going to say, go ahead and go through the example here while we've got a few more minutes here. Mitch, why don't you take them through an example here that was written? Uh, I think this is with uh, Coco Two DS, correct? Uh, this. Can you see my screen? Is my screen being shown? Yep, it looks great. This game, this is the class we just finished up, the two-part class, and it is Sir Lamalock's Quest. And what I like about this particular game, <clears throat> game engine 
and the game classes, it covers audio, it covers the UI kit and how we can integrate that with, and all the OpenGL stuff, sprites, you name it. So the game, uh, let me just kind of go into what the game looks like. You start a, you start a new game here. Let's see if I can get this to operate. I have to make sure I press the keys. You have a character that uh, you can move around the screen with, and uh, as you notice, you can fire, you can fire um, all kinds of you know your weapons here. I forgot exactly how to use the uh, the single mouse button. Click on that, so that's not working. You can move your guy around. Um, let's see here we are. Put my my thumb down here. You can move it around. You have uh, you have doors you can go through. All kinds of things, and all of this is done entirely in OpenGL. And the game engine uh, shows you how you deal with particle effects, like these these ghosts that appear. Maybe very difficult to see uh, uh, on the screen, but these particle effects uh, are also uh, shown exactly how you do it uh, in the game. So uh, all of this, this entire game, by the end of the two classes, you know how to build this game from nothing. So it's a fantastic class. Uh, that's what I really like about it. So that's a, it's probably a good example of what we covered uh, just recently. Well, great, Mitch. I appreciate it. And I got a um, bunch of students that are on uh, as well tonight that probably uh, like to ask some questions. So I'll go ahead and um, stop the recording for the YouTube uh, people that are listening and um, thank them for attending. And of course, if you'd like to attend live and ask questions on our normal Wednesday night at 6.30 p.m., uh, it's real easy to find. Let me go ahead and uh, change presenter here, Mitch, real quick, back to myself so that everybody can see that. Yeah, if you'd like to attend, um, just go to uh, excelme.com, click on free videos, and sign up uh, both to get the YouTube videos and prior recordings that I do every Wednesday night. Then also attend live and, um, and then make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel when you click on the these YouTube videos and you'll get uh, free updates um, whenever I upload another YouTube video. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording now.